is our final SketchUp assignment, and it will count as a project. So the first thing you have to do is create a circle with a radius of three. So we're going to delete this person. Um, and then we're going to make a circle with a radius of three. So you click into the origin, and then you write three, enter. And you're going to have to zoom in on it. Um, all right, next up, uh, using push-pull, make the height six. So push-pull, enter, good. All right, this part is very important, so make sure we pay close attention. Make a line going across the top, preferably, not even preferably, it should be perfectly across the top. Okay, good. Um, using two-point arc, click the left side of the top of the circle and the right side, uh, and pull the middle up and give it a bulge of three. So two-point arc, you click, and you click, you pull it up the blue axis and you give it an arc, a bulge of three. So now you kind of need something going up like that. Uh, using the pencil tool, go 0.5 units from the right and make a line going straight up. So it said 0.5. So we click here, we go this way, we go 0.5, enter. And now that's where it is. You follow the colored line up. It's got to be colored. It's easy for it to skew off like that. So watch out for that. Um, okay, and now we, using the eraser tool, you erase that side of the arc. So you take the eraser tool, you can really just click on this line, I believe, yep, and then that all deletes. Then you're going to use a tool called follow me, and you're going to pull that piece all the way around. So that's in push-pull, I believe, it's the second one, and you click on this, then you just follow the line around. It'll look weird for a second. Then you click, and perfect. Don't worry about that line. Um, using the pencil tool, draw a line going across so that the whole thing closes. OK, all you have to do is connect it, and it should close. Um, Find the center of the top, create a new circle with a radius of 2.45. Okay, so I'm going to leave that line there because that'll, actually it's not cutting perfectly across, so I'm actually not going to leave that line there. I'm going to make a line that is cutting perfectly across. Now I'm going to use a circle tool, find the midpoint, I'm going to go 2.45, I think it's 2.45, yep. And you want to delete any of these lines that don't belong. All right, so that's looking pretty good. And then using push-pull, push the smaller circle down 0.25. Oh, let's follow me. 0.25. Cool. follow the same steps on the other end of the can. So what you did over there to make that rounded part, you also have to do on the other side. So it'll help if you just switch it like this. I'm not gonna make you watch me do the same exact thing, so I'm gonna pause it and, and do that now. Okay, so now we have our can. Highlight the visible lines on the can and then right click and click hide. So any visible with the pointer tool, you can click on a line, as you see it turns blue and you press hide. If you hold shift and click as many lines as you can and press hide, that makes more disappear. So when we start the next video, these lines will be gone and then we'll go to the next thing.